welcome to my channel beta kabaka stay tuned yes so guys we are making a pegboard you know what a pegboard <laughs> is <laughs> <laughs> Guys, learn how to make pegboards. It's interesting. <laughs> so, guys, uh, items like jewelry, yes, items like jewelry can at times be difficult to keep or store in the house. Yes, yes. At times, you find yourself you 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 have a pair of uh, a pair of jewelry, then uh, one is lost. So. You just wonder how you'll get the other one. Yes, so instead of uh, just uh, putting everything together and uh, you are like, oh, I kept this one here, where is the other one? No, oh, what, what, what? You get a green one and a blue one, you search for them and you cannot get them. Yes, a pegboard is the best to use to keep them. You just make a simple pegboard at home, then you just hang it somewhere in your room. So for us, we are just making an improvisation of a pegboard. We are doing it by ourselves. Yes, as you can see, we are using some small pieces of bamboo sticks. So bamboo sticks are very strong. And uh, we are below here. We have a we have a, a piece of plywood. Yes. So that uh, wood, actually, it's like cardboard. It's very soft because we are making it on our own. Or, or rather, we or rather we would have gone to a woodworking shop. Otherwise, we are doing it by ourselves. Yes, this uh, using some locally available materials. Yes, guys. So we are using some piece of wood down here. It's a cardboard, very strong. Yes, so we are making holes, holes at regular intervals. Yes, so in each and every hole, we are sticking the pieces of uh, bamboo, the bamboo sticks. So the bamboo sticks, they are the ones we are gonna use to hold uh, the, to hold the jewelry. Actually, you can use it for any other things. Yes. Yes, guys. So we are using some some uh, bamboo sticks. Yes, the bamboo sticks are the ones we are using. Bamboo sticks are always very much strong. Yes. Then we have this cardboard. Yes, the cardboard is below here. We are the one. There, it's the one we are using to make this cardboard. Yes, as you can see, we are we made some holes at regular intervals to make our pegboard. Yes. So we are just using I told you we are using locally available materials. You see one of us is using a stone instead of a hammer to fix in the bamboo sticks into the holes. Yes. So it's just a matter of making holes on the cardboard then you fix the the sticks. You know bamboo sticks are always very strong. Yes. So they the ones we are using to make this piece of pegboard. Yeah, so pegboards are always used in various ways. So also when you're selling items like these, you need a good collapsible pegboard to display each piece to its best potential. So it's quick to make and it's not expensive. Yes, this pegboard display is perfect for beginner crafters. Yes, guys. So you can always make pegboards at home, at your own convenience. Yes, you, you, once you use the locally available materials, guys, thank you so much for watching. Then later on, we're going to paint our pegboard. Yes. Bye. <laughs> yes, guys, we are going to paint it after we are through with it. It will look nice, nice.
Yes. Thank you guys. So you have to stay tuned.